Here, let us perform an activity to study about structure of ecosystem. Click each tab to know more. To study in detail about the structure of a specific ecosystem like a pond, a forest, etc. in and around your surroundings. The following materials are required to perform the following activity. Hand trowel, measuring tape, string, small wooden sticks, lens. For doing an activity, first select an area, it can be any place like a park, your school ground or any other place as such. By using tape, measure a square area that is 1 meter long and 1 meter wide. Mark the edges of a square with the help of wooden sticks. Observe and study area. Look for plants and animals in this area with the help of a hand lens. Even dig deeper into the ground to find out any other living organisms. Now, record all the living organisms you have observed. Dried and green grass, drops of water on grass, sand, rocks, ants, mushrooms, butterflies, dragonflies, grasshopper, caterpillar, or observed in an area of grassland. Some weed plants and their flowers are also seen in the middle of grass. Earthworms, bedbugs, beetles and a few other insects are found when we dig deeper into the ground. From the above activity, we can conclude that our ecosystem consists of both living and non-living organisms. The living things like plants, animals, insects and microorganisms are termed as biotic components. The non-living things like sand, rocks, water, air, sunlight, etc. are termed as abiotic components. All these biotic and abiotic components live together and interact with each other in many ways.